Hi guys, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to call up Amazon and find out what is going on with this. Um, this was returned to me. Um, it was sold via FBA, Fulfillment by Amazon. Um, and it was returned to the warehouse and then I had it returned back to me. Now I sold this brand new in its box. It's been returned very obviously played with, in fact, played with to death. Uh, it's missing the figure, it's missing the box, it's missing loads of stuff. Um, but that's not all. I haven't had this in stock at Amazon for over a year. I haven't sold one of these for over a year. So I'm gonna ring Amazon and find out what on earth is going on. <laughs> Right, I'm just requesting the call. So, hopefully, this is Andrea's phone, by the way. <laughs> okay, here we go. If your call is related to customers or orders, please press 1. For any other questions, please press 0. Uh, let's go 0. Thank you for contacting Amazon Seller Support. We are here to help and support you in sending on Amazon. After this call, you may receive an email survey where you can provide feedback on our report. Please note that for quality and training purposes, this call may be recorded. This is going to make my arm ache. Hi, good day. This is Shelly. Why speaking with your name, please? Uh, Nicholas Hills. Um, it's about a, a return I've had. Um, I had it, well, something was returned to the warehouse by the customer and I had it returned to me. Um, I'm slightly confused though. What has turned up, I, I sold a brand new Star Wars toy. Um, what has been returned to me is a very obviously used and broken and incomplete toy without the packaging, without the box. But that's not all. Um, I haven't had this item in stock in my FBA listings for over a year. So I'm slightly confused as to how the customers managed to return it over a year later. I see. Okay. Hold on. So, um, is there any year of what order number related to that um, item? Um, let me find it. Hold on. This is for Star Wars Force Awakens story. Yes. The, the main question I want answering is, how can something be returned to me? Um, I assume the customer says it's faulty. Um, over a year after I've sold one. I've not had it in... Go on. For that one, sir, um, our customer service, uh, our relevant team, and managed to... Uh, your buyer contacted directly Amazon customer service uh, regardless on the, um, when they have purchased the item. And that customer service department managed to uh, um, initiate a reimbursement to the account of the buyer. And um, of course, they doesn't have any um, any reference that the item is over the years or uh, there are some missing parts. And uh, but uh, they just insisted a refund on to the buyer. And uh, that buyer uh, received um, a return label for the item returning to the fulfillment center. And uh, we are accepting all of the uh, return, even though it is outside um, our return policy. So why do I have to accept that? Because I sold it a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand that one, sir. And here's the thing that I can do for you. Since you mentioned that you already sold this item um, a year ago, and uh, years ago, or um, and the item received a um, um, completely unsellable condition, we can initiate the reimbursement into your account. The thing that I can do here is to document all the information that we have on the seller central, and I will be asking you to uh, provide it. The, uh, the packing slip, the uh, removal order, uh, uh, the removal order packing slip. Do you have that um, slip in front of you? So you can take a picture um, of that one and send it directly into the case. I guess so. So I, I need yes, to I need to provide you proof that you've sent it to me, do I? Yes. Yes, correct. But, and the images of the item itself, and uh, specify the um, the missing accessory. Okay. 
Okay, so that that's fantastic that you can reimburse me. I just want to yeah. I just want to clarify from your end. Um, so a customer has the right to return something over a year later, even if it's incomplete, if it's been used. That's fine. As Right. I just don't understand how yeah. how how they were able to return it in the first yeah, place. That I... correct, sir. Because as I mentioned to you, our customer service are the one who's initiating a refund to your buyer, and uh, they can um, some of the associate there is not following the uh, return policy, like the forty-five days for returning the item from the date that they have purchased the item. So um, I apologize for that one, sir. But of course, as a seller support, we can um, initiate the reimbursement if they are caused for or they avoid any loss. Okay, so so what you're saying is it, it was a mistake from the returns department. They Correct. they okay. From the customer service. Yes. Right. Of course, uh, we have a policy, uh, like forty-five days policy for returning the item in our warehouse. Uh, uh, if the uh, if this uh, item already uh, um, um, passed on forty-five days before contacting. Um, the customer service, of course, uh, this customer sh uh, service um, associate should not uh, reimburse the buyer and uh, it's not allow the, uh, the buyer to return the item into the okay. settlement center. But uh, there are some cases like that, sir, that they, uh, uh, the uh, customer service incorrectly process a refund to the buyer. Okay, right. Well, that, that's, that's good. That's good to know, anyway. So, yeah, what, sure. what was it I have to do to get my reimbursement okay. then? I need, you're going to email me, okay. are you? Okay, fantastic. All right, thank you very much for your time. Okay, thanks. Bye now. Bye bye. So hopefully you heard that. Um, they're going to give me my money back. And from what she was saying, this has been caused by a mistake in the returns refunds department. Um, because their policy is that the customer has 45 days to return it. Now, as I explained to the lady on the phone, I haven't had this in stock or sold any for at least 365 days. Um, so how that slipped through the net, I don't know. But here's the thing, with Amazon, unless you take the trouble to ring up and explain your issue, and complain effectively they'll just let it go through you know they they would have they've obviously refunded the buyer taken the money out of my um deposits account and in order to get that back i have to a create a you know ring them up and explain it i have to notice that it's happened in the first place you know it's all on me to to manage their policies basically and flag up when they've screwed up um so anyway hopefully i will get that money back um i've just got to i think she said i've got to prove that amazon have sent it to me and i've received it well surely they know they've sent it to me anyway so hopefully it'll be a case of just um proving that i've got it explain the condition it's in and why i don't think i should have lost that money and I'll get the money back. Anyway, there you go. That's what Amazon had to say. I, I wasn't really sure what I was going to get out of them, really. Um, at least I'm getting my money back. That's something. And from what they're saying, they have a 45-day returns window, which this customer somehow managed to uh, circumvent and send it back a year later. Completely wrecked. Anyway. Hope that was interesting, guys. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.